hello, hello, and welcome to yet another episode of the Conversation Capital. As always, we have the voice of reason behind the microphone. It is Bonga Buerta. Hi, Bonga. Hey, hey. How are you doing, girl? I'm good. I am awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And then today we've got a very good friend of mine, a lovely friend of mine, <laughs> an amazing friend of mine, the friend of friends, <laughs> Asantwa Buatema Abina Ofori Amonfo. Wow. Hi, girl. No, how are you, you got it. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> well done. Well That's done. That's how much of a friend I am. <laughs> I mean, you're trying a bit, but we're going to let it go because I knew she pronounced it correctly. At least, at least. I can even write it out. Eh? But as uh, for short, we call her Aspo. That is her name. Aspo is what we use for short. And, and I called my friend on today because I was like, I am an, we need to talk about friendships. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to talk about friendship dynamics. We need to talk about losing friends. We need to talk about gaining friends. We need to talk about friendship traumas. I mean, we, we often talk about, you know, traumas that we experience in relationships, mm -hmm. romantic relationships. And I think mm -hmm. not a lot of weight is put on friendships and yeah. and how much weight they can put on someone. And I thought of Espo immediately <laughs> because Espo came at a time in my life where I was losing friends like autumn leaves. <laughs> <laughs> the slightest breeze. You oof, know. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> and I was going through like, oh, hot seer, man. I was mm. just in so much pain all the time. And, and I didn't understand what was going on. And, and as we really, I don't know if you know this girl, but she really came at a time like just to heal those things and to make me feel normal and to make me feel like, oh, it, it, it happens. You know, because a lot of people kept saying it's a function of the age that you're at. You know, mm. you're turning the corner of 30 there's the whole Saturn return concept mm. and uh, you know you're going through your first Saturn return and this is the time where just things shift and dynamics change I recently was on vacation with my sisters and and one of them said oh, by the time you're 40 there'll only be one friend left I was like oh, I, hope I need cut. to go through this <laughs> again you know and and so yeah basically uh, it, like I think it was easily 27 28 29 uh, where, where I was going through this and it was mm. a very difficult experience for me, you know, and and I always grew up with a mom because my mom is very like anti friends. She's all about like your siblings Same. are your friends <laughs> and keep it moving. Yeah. And so my mom would just be like, get to have a hold. <laughs> like you know this is your time to just cut all and mm. just keep it moving you know my mom was very like i gave you siblings oh so what do you want what do you want friends <laughs> mothers have this thing with friends Yay. like my mother's the same we're Yay. her friends like Yay. my sister and i Yay. are her friends and now i have my cousins you know it's like mothers and they're friends. very yes. weary of, yes. of friendships mm, yeah and sometimes rightfully so yes and and it, it just it brings you to all like at their age they've been through so many friendship traumas yeah. and things like that incidences that they realize that they can spot the red flag sometimes yes, before you with, can. Yeah, before you yeah. can. And beyond that, I think they've gotten to a place where they're just like, actually, maybe life is better without this thing. Yes. But I'm not there. In as much as I have experienced <laughs> my fair share of traumas, I still believe that there is a sweetness to, you know, a really good friendship. Mm, definitely. Uh, there's even a, a Bible verse. Yes. What, what is it? About mean? refreshing, uh, good, something about good friendships refreshing the soul the soul yeah yeah Some, it's, it's, it's showing it's, how bad i am yeah, and you calling but it's there. See, <laughs> proverbs 31 girl this one <laughs> and so you know um yeah that's definitely so i, I just I, I wanted to get into that and i don't even know like how to approach it but mm -hmm. i just know that you and i you know often walk through those things together and yeah. talk about it so often and 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 yeah yeah the process of uh, shedding friends can be such painful and and painful I think the second layer of them being painful is how they aren't acknowledged mm. as something painful to go through. Yeah. Do you understand? Like how everybody around me was very like, walk it off. And I was. Yeah. I think that not a lot of people give it like grace because if you go through a breakup, you know, you're heartbroken. Mm. People are like, shame, I need to go and check on mm. as I need to check on mm. Ursula. You know, she's gone through this whole thing. But when it's like a friendship, it's kind of like. Ah, like yeah. okay you know if another friend's here and it's kind of like but you got me like mm. let's keep it moving but yeah. it is a heartbreak it is a mm. it is a there's a grieving process yes you know? yes mm. i remember there was a time where 
I was upset with a specific friend of mine when you're talking about, you know, several other friends and other friends are like, oh, you got me, mm. you know. Um, and and I was I was just saying to her, like, I, I don't feel like you, you know, you're putting in the effort to like meet with me. And mm. I've always got to be this person who understands that, you know, you'll meet me when you feel like meeting yeah. me. And you like she was always ready to be like, like, let's say we've got a theater date. Then I'm at the theater. She's like, oh, I don't feel like I didn't coming. feel like it, you know. Ooh. And and so like it happened to me times and I was really getting out. Then she said, you know, Ursh, the thing is, there's so many people around you. And and often when we do have a date together, you'll come with another friend or two, three other friends, <laughs> which is true. me. I, I will it's meet a friend you. at Pick and Pay on my way to the theater and say, oh, by the way, I'm going to the theater. You want to yes. come? I'm that person. Yes. You know, for me, the more the merrier. And so she was like, so I often feel like it's never for me, you know. Mm. And, 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 you know, it's like the dynamic of that, firstly, it was her needing to articulate that she felt like that because I yes. didn't realize this yes. whole time. Because her friend is a party starter. Anytime, like, <laughs> gang, gang, I, I invite Any the Anytime it's tea time. You know? <laughs> and, and the second thing was for me to articulate to her. I said to her, okay, I hear what you're saying and I'm glad that you've shared it. Mm-hmm. But you also need to know that even with other people around, I still enjoy having you around. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a space your for Aspo yes. that only Aspo can fill. Mm-hmm. Just because I've gotten Tabi Singh and Lerato there, yes. it doesn't mean that the Aspo space is now yeah. filled because of that void. And so that's what it is sometimes. Um, when you lose a friend, people don't understand you've got so many other friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there's that gap that that person fills. Like that you know, intimacy of that friendship. Because it is an intimacy. Yeah, you know, there's certain way. things that you share with specific mm-hmm. people. You know, like, a, I, I'll be crying about a certain thing. I, I will, there's a certain friend I will call yes. for that thing. I'll be crying about something yes. else. Sometimes it's work. I've got my friends that I speak to about work-related things. Mm-hmm. I've got my friends that I speak to about boyfriend related yes. things not that i have a boyfriend or no. boyfriend <laughs> problems <laughs> but still there are different and it doesn't mean yes. that you're not yourself in those mm. spaces with the other people but yes. it's just kind of like i know that if i speak to lebu about something with my career there's a certain framing she already has in, my, mm. in mind or an understanding about me mm. um and maybe because we're in the same industry so mm. she can advise me from that place yes. whereas I could also speak to you about the same thing. And it's not that you lack anything, but mm. there's a maybe a certain insight, whether it maybe yes. be you got it from time yes. um, spent with me or yes. just context that yes. you might not have. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and we, we've we spoken about this before, touched on it before, but the fact that there's friendships that t- touch different aspects of you. Yes. We're such multifaceted <coughs> people yes. that you could speak to this you could speak to the other yes. one speaks to this yes. and it doesn't mean yes. the other one matters less than the mm. other yes you know? mm. yeah and i think sometimes it's also a bit of like an energy thing like i know with you <laughs> ursula if i'm walking through somewhere where she's familiar i know that the thing could have ended at six o'clock but i'm going to get home at eight <laughs> because ursula is going to be spoken to all of those things so that's something that i've had to learn because i do enjoy people but our expressions of it is mm. very different mm. <laughs> um mm. so that makes me think of what your other friend was saying is that oh well there's so many other people there and i can understand her point of it and it's it's good that she expressed it because even though you still value her presence she's still telling you of a space where she doesn't mm. feel like she's maybe actually connecting with and, you and, and what she value. wants is that connection mm. yeah mm. so i think it's it's I think having friendships is maybe one of the hardest relationships to have because Mm. as you get older, it's not just about like hanging out. At least it's not for me. Mm. I, my, my family spread out all over. Mm. So me being in Joburg, my friendships, that's my community for me. Mm. That's a a kind of family to me. Mm. And I take those seriously, but I'm also learning that I have to take myself seriously in them. Mm. So even spending time with you, Ursula Ursula could call me up anytime and I'm like, say less, I'm there. Mm. But trying to understand, do I have capacity to hang out with Ursula? Mm. Do I have capacity Mm. for the kind of friendship that Mm. we have? And sometimes do I actually just want to do that, you know, Mm. which is there's nothing wrong in saying no to, but it's only something I'm learning now. Mm. And it's a kind of pruning uh, with the people around me, but also within myself to say, I actually don't think that I can be a good friend to Ursula Mm. anymore. Maybe the lifestyle she chooses is not something that Mm. aligns with me anymore. Sure. Mm. So we need a kind And I like how uh, what you're saying reminds me exactly of a point I was was thinking about because in as much as what how the friend may have 
pulled back wasn't nice mm-hmm. um and only explained later why mm-hmm. right but she, the friend is also being deliberate about the type of friendship she'd want yes. and if you can't offer me that yes. that's okay yeah. we yeah. wish we can communicate that better mm-hmm. by not maybe pulling back and then explaining yes. but that's also saying for her i want to choose something different for myself yes. you can't offer me that yes Ooh. so i couldn't articulate Ooh. it but she's also doing the good job of being intentional about the friendships I need. And it doesn't make you any less of a better friend. I just want something different for myself. Yeah. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong in that. I think if anything, so many people have to look within themselves and think, am I actually showing up? Do I like the people that I'm around, you know, because it does impact Mm. you. Um, Mm. I'm not just friends with people for friends sake. Mm. I am a bit of a people pleaser, so I am Mm. working on it. Mm. But the people that I confide in that I'm, that I have intimate friendships with, that's a very select few, Mm. but I can be friendly with a lot of people, you know? Mm. So that's something I'm trying to learn who actually forms that my core. Yeah. That intimate. And, and also I, my mom taught me something earlier this year. Sure, he, and that was a beautiful lesson. She said to me, the thing is you want everybody to be everything and you, you haven't learned the lesson of, sometimes it's about cutting, sometimes it's not right now. Mm. This friendship is, is not it, right? It's not what I need right now. And that's okay too. And you know, speaking to what, um, what uh, something as was said earlier, that, that thing of like being able to limit or being open and, and confident enough to say, okay, my capacity is up to here. Mm. That's something I struggled with because we get into the habit of knowing that this friend needs me when they call crying. They're calling me because they know I've got yes. this. But sometimes you don't have capacity at that time to yeah. deal with that. And then feeling guilty for or feeling this anxiety around certain friendships because you don't have capacity for them at a certain time. Mm-hmm. And so that's something that I've personally had to investigate because I think because of uh, like certain friendship breakups that I had, I, I, you know, I blamed myself. I was like, maybe if I showed up for them more, that wouldn't have happened or it wouldn't have resulted. And maybe they didn't feel my presence enough. And, and, and then you end up, you know, finding yourself. But I've learned that, no, I should be able to say, I don't have capacity yes. for that. Mm. And it's okay. And it's okay. Yeah. You know, and, and, and somebody should be able to say to me, Ursh, I don't have capacity for you yes. right now. Ursula is, <laughs> yes. you know, and somebody should be able to say, Ish, my friend, your energy today is something that I don't have capacity for. As painful of a pill as it could be to swallow. I think there's a way to go yeah, around yeah, saying yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, I hope no one would just say that. <laughs> I <laughs> mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I, I know with you, you'll just say, I don't have capacity. You never say that. I don't have capacity for you. <laughs> it's never, but, but you know, just even with what you said now, that's mm. why I think there's such an importance of trying to grow yourself as in a mature way mm. in friendships or to be a mature friend as mm. well. Because for me... I would mm. hope that you would be able to say to me, as but I know I've invited you've invited me to this event, la la la, and I know I said yes, but I'm actually just really tired. I can't mm. make it. Mm. And yes, I can feel a bit like oh, hurt, maybe because I wanted you there, or maybe if it's last minute, whatever. Mm. But I hope that I am to you mature enough of a friend to say, Ursula communicated that she doesn't have capacity. Mm. I can understand that, and I think that if at least from, I want to say from experience, if you ever feel an, like an anxiety around saying, Ish, Ursula invited me to this thing and I really can't make it or I don't have mm. capacity or whatever it is, mm. but I'm just going to do it because I don't want to upset the friendship, mm, mm. then I don't know how that foundation is in that friendship. Mm. Because for me, I need to be able to say, Ursh, I'm not in a good space. Mm. I, I, mm. Or I just don't want to come. Mm. Why are you doing something else? No, I just actually want to be at home. Yes. Or, or whatever it is. And mm. hope that, or, and trust you enough that you can understand that it's not from a lack of not, uh, it's not that I don't want to. Mm. I'm just lacking right mm. now. Mm. And if I am in spaces with people that don't, give that or are able to receive that then i'm honestly it's not a space i want to be in because yep. then mm. i'm uptight now mm. i'm like oh i'm anxious i already have anxiety in other parts of life i can't have it in the people mm. i want to exhale with mm. yeah you know? and you know what comes to my mind is that we want healthy friendships mm. and part of being in a healthy friendship is that i must be healthy yes part of pulling mm. away not pulling away but saying i don't have capacity mm. is focusing on my health so that i can be a better friend to mm. you when i'm able to be there mm. for you you know mm. we don't want me to be exhausted or just there because i don't want to offend you yes i want to be fully present sure. so part of that 
friendship being healthy is also being healthy for myself and saying mm. I don't have the capacity, mm. you know, and creating healthy boundaries, mm. you know. I mean, that's definitely something that I'm learning in friendships, in work, in relationships, in family dynamics, creating healthy boundaries. Yeah. Where I say, Ursula Mariani goes up to here. Yes. And I do love you. Uh, and being able to communicate that is something that you can only learn the more you practice it. Because mm. you say it wrong the first time. And the the, the concept, Nji, of boundaries and being mm. clear about them is so foreign mm. that you get a lot of the more people finding it weird than more people. So it's a very... It's not new. Yes, it's new to a lot of people. Mm. So you seem like you're doing something... Mm. Ah. And but, Bonga, I must say, you're queen. Yes. You're queen. Um, that's so why no I can't Bonga, like, Bonga is a boundary queen. Yeah. So I can mm. be like, I, I can't, I don't want to come. Or I, I can't yes. come. I don't have to go into why I can't yeah, come. You're yes. that person, yeah. Who I, I, yeah. I can't come. That's mm. where I'm trying to get it. But I was queen of like lying in a way. And I just hated that way. It would be, I, I, could, I could just feel it. In, mm. I think everyone knows where they are bef- even if they can't find the words for it so mm. i'd get invited to something or someone would do something and i could instantly feel that i don't like it i don't like mm. how i was treated or i don't want to do this or do that but it was a people pleasing the people pleasing part mm. of me that would just think just do it just do it just do it mm. and then i'd get home feel even more socially depleted or exhausted mm. or whatever it is than I did before. And I'd actually be angry at myself, but mm-hmm. it's so weird to be angry at yourself yeah. because I can't, I can't bl- put yeah. myself on airplane mode. Mm. It's just like, you know, I am how I am. But the more that I'm starting to say, I actually just don't really want to do that. Mm. I'm finding that I'm preserving more energy. Mm. So when it comes to spending time with the people that I want to, I'm mm. like, really uh, like at my best yes you know i don't feel drained girls quick detour and this is something that i've struggled to answer and so i I, you know i just want to get opinions um so one of the things i've struggled with is when you've shared a friendship with someone so difficult for me because even as i'm I'm like stuttering as I say. Yeah, yeah. I can see. see, Yeah, those who know you know that you're restraining. (laughs) I'm restrained. (laughs) Um, But like, so sometimes uh, when you share friendship with someone, I'm struggling to figure out, like you mentioned earlier, to say, you know, at this point that Ursha's lifestyle doesn't fit what I want for Mm -hmm. myself, and so respectfully, I need to, you know, walk away from this friendship. Is there? Do you owe the person that you've done life with, let's say, for a few years, do you owe them a friend? You've become an alcoholic and mm. you've become toxic in your behavior and I need to walk away. Or are you allowed to just preserve your sanity and not say anything to anyone? Like, I struggle with that. When mm. I'm walking away from a friendship or if somebody's a friendship is being walked away from me, does that person owe me a hey ish? Or, hey, Ursh, I this friendship no longer serves me. Mm-hmm. Or are they allowed to preserve themselves? What's what's the decent thing to do when breaking up? A friend? I really struggle with this. I think for me, and I can only say this for myself, I'm, I'm really big on communication. I don't mind you being late. I don't mind you breaking something. I don't mind whatever it is. Mistakes happen, feelings change, whatever. But I need communication because I know that I'm going to overthink. I'm not going to understand. Mm. And I think that it's it's just hurtful if you don't let someone know mm. who you shared a bond with that that you kind of want to pull away for whatever reasons. Mm. Um, I don't think anyone would ever say, eh, Ursula, you're toxic. I can't hang around. No. But let's say you party a lot and it's just not a lifestyle that I want anymore for mm. X, Y, Z reasons. It, I think that there's a conversation that could be had just to say, you know, friend, I know that this is what we're so used to doing and like mm. absolutely loved it, but I just feel a little bit different lately. There's just something maybe, uh, there's something different I want for my life. And I don't, it might not be about also losing the the friendship saying, oh, because you do this now, we can't be friends. Mm-hmm. It's more just, if you invite me out to go clubbing six days a week and I say no, this is the reason why. It's not that I don't want to spend time with you. Mm. It's just not in this environment or not in this way. Mm. Um, and I think there's a conversation to have and a tone if you want to preserve the friendship, but mm-hmm. change, have behavior changed. Mm-hmm. And another way, if you just think this person just isn't w- good for me. Yes. Mm. I think it's different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, earlier, as well, talked about um, 
maturity mm. in friendships mm. because you you won't just say um you're toxic i'm mm. cutting you off mm. Mm. like she said it's a conversation mm. and i think for me um the decision could be on the number of years or the number of mm. bond mm. you know or, or not the number of bond but the strength of the bond like there's someone who was getting into my life and i noticed p- patterns that i don't like about this person mm. and then i just stopped communicating mm. with them i didn't block them anything i just stopped an avenue so i deleted their number so that they don't see my statuses so that communication has decreased because mm. the friendship was just building mm. so i didn't feel the necessity to, to communicate because yes, yes. it wasn't at a, at a certain extent. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. However, I think when there's a particular bond, mm. especially, I don't want to say number of years because bonds can be very quick. Mm. Um, I don't want to measure it by years, but if there's a specific bond and Lena, you feel like there's a need or there's just something about this person mm-hmm. you'd like, then I feel like they deserve an explanation. Mm. And it maybe it won't even, when you communicate, maybe it won't even get to the breakup maybe the dynamic will change mm. Mm. you know mm. instead of unless you want the person totally mm. out like mm. as we said or context want... will be received sorry to interrupt you mm. just maybe they're going through something you know mm. and it's kind of like your behaviors change has become whichever direction and sometimes you get context as to why and it makes you understand mm. oh okay mm. so we can actually still continue and move forward and you are hearing me and what mm. i'm saying that like the rhythm has changed between us and it's not something I like, but there's a reason why, Yeah, you know? And I think it's also giving the person, like you're saying, you may have noticed that there's something between us. For Mm. me personally, that is happening because of X, Y, Z. And the person can also, I think communication also gives you the opportunity to say, do I want to work with on this with the Mm. other person? Mm. You, you've made your decision mm. right yes. mm. so the per- other person can be like do i actually want to work on this or not oh, no. yes you know yes so mm. yeah i think communication is important Ooh, communicate but all of this sounds like such a relationship now now this is, it is. Mm. Six. <laughs> and that's what i'm learning the old i grow it, it really is like like it, yeah. it is it's like it's a relationship but it's a friendship relationship and it has very similar dynamics and that's you know? why even friends become so offended mm. when you date someone and they take over your life because that's because, a relationship they have to, yeah. we were in a relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. that you just taken so now, yeah, yeah so now mm. you're just checking me out just mm. like that it's literally the same thing also another thing is um <laughs> In terms of friendship breakups, or have, sometimes you have those conversations, but then also sometimes you don't. Sometimes it just fizzles out or it gets awkward mm, or yes. you feel some kind of way, they feel some mm. kind of way. Maybe you are kind of lacking the confidence or scared in that moment to bring it up. I know I'm not good with confrontation, so I often avoid that. But I know for me, I've had a friendship breakup that really affected me, I would say, two, three, maybe four years after the fact, but Mm. I wasn't aware of it until something like a similar kind of setting would come up Mm. with another friend and Mm. then I'd worry. I know it's it's happened with you so many mm, mm, times mm, mm. I know exactly you talk about, about like oh as i came in and she saved me i'm like girl i was in the ghetto mm. like you saved me as well um but i had a friend that i was so close to and um geographically we were apart and there was just some miscommunication miscommunication and eventually she just stopped responding to me mm. And then I got really worried about safety and has something happened and all of those things. I, I really had no idea, you know, even still to this day, I don't know what what caused the, the break in our mm. friendship. But I got to a certain point where I said, I know that I love and care about this person. And I believe that they love and care about me as well, even though things have changed. But the the heart that I have for friendships doesn't deserve this in response Mm. you know i think i just had to get to a moment where i said Mm. this is just this just is not it but it i found that in friendships i made afterwards or got closer to people afterwards i'd always wonder am i too much like Mm. am i asking too many questions should i pull back you know Mm. am i too this too that whatever it may be and it just changed me. As well, you're onto something. <laughs> I realized it with Bonga. So often when we have shoot day, Bonga at the beginning would like sleep over. Mm-hmm. 
And then actually just got into the routine of saying, Ach, after shoot, I'm going to go back home. Yeah. And I remember the one time, I remember you did it the second time. I was like, is there something yes, going on? Like, I was telling wrong? my sister about that. What's wrong? Why aren't like, you sleeping over deep, anymore? <laughs> I just want to go home. But your words were to use into voice notes saying, ooh, this makes me wonder about the friendships around you that somebody wouldn't communicate if you've done something wrong. Sure. And you should know that if you do do something wrong, I'll let you know. Mm. But it's not that deep. I just want to be in my space in my bed. Thanks, yes. though. <laughs> And I immediately picked up that, like, I'm so sensitive because of what you're saying. Yes. Like, where somebody just walked out of your life and you don't know what you did. Yes. And now you're on edge and you're just like, oh, my gosh. And you now start com- overcompensating. Yes. And it takes so much counseling for you to be like, Ursh, It's breathe, a lot breathe. of work. Breathe. You know? Ah! And what I say to yeah. people like that, because I'm not like that, but what I, 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 I think or say about people who look at friendships or life like that i'm like you're better off without those people yes mm. no one should make you feel that mm. if it stirs up that kind that's yes. what i was saying that kind of and, and I, for me it is easier said than done but if it stirs up that feeling then it's not a relationship i want to be a part mm. of and and i i say the same equally if someone feels like they, that feeling gets stirred up around me, you know, mm. within them. Then I don't want you to be a, like around me. I don't want any. I don't mm. want to make anyone feel sure. that way. I sure. do just want. I want to be able to exhale in friendships, yes. and I feel like even with mine mm. with Ursula, we're getting to a point of, okay, shoo, that happened, and like wasn't really like impressed, mm. you know, it didn't mm. really sit well with me, and and I mean there was something that happened with uh, Ursula and I at um at this concert oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. i was so over because i was hey, working at it. Secrets, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> i had just left and i was like oh i'm gonna go and i thought i communicated well but i didn't mm. i didn't actually communicate mm. well mm. and i realized that it upset her mm. even though my intention wasn't there at all i was just mm. like i've been working 13 hours i'm tired yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it really made me realize oh for next time this is how you need to communicate with Ursula so she understands. Because I don't want to make her feel like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I don't want to feel awkward with Ursula. Mm-hmm. I enjoy her too much. Mm-hmm. So it's like a learning, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Sure. It's, yeah, because like, different strokes with different friends, yes. different people don't need that much communication. I was just like, Aspo just left me at a party. <laughs> you know, I, just <laughs> I didn't leave her alone. I didn't leave her alone. Imagine Aspo. <laughs> she's like, Ursula, you social butterfly. Yeah, man. she's fine. She's she, like, and she yes. was with her friends. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, she's with Mang Mang. That's fine. I can go. And and I was like, oh, I'm heading out. But I think she thought I meant I was like heading to. It was just a mess. Yeah, it yeah. was a mess. But I was like, I'm gone. I'm done. <laughs> like, I, when I want to leave, I want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> sure, guys. Another off ramp when we're talking about friendships. Um, I want to pick your brains on friendships and business. Is it okay to move into a business relationship hmm. with friends? Or no, business relationships can result in friendships. I'd rather start off strictly as business partners or you know what's, what's your dynamic there? I think it depends on the dynamic of the friendship because we have businesses that have flourished with friends mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. I think that we're gonna, we keep going back to the important which is the health Mm-hmm. Mon, we're working mm. Mon, mm. that should not affect our friendship mm. we're friends but can it can we separate it i don't know how business people would say but mm. we need to be healthy enough to be able to do business together mm. yes so is your friendship at that point where you think you can have a business together is it that, that healthy because you also don't want to lose um, risk losing the friendship, mm. but we could be missing out on a huge thing by not p- partnering, partnering together. together, you know. Mm. So, I think mm. it depends on, like, you know, there's certain friends about how where you see who I can't work with, this no. person. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, but there's certain friendships that are, I won't say mature enough because then that means that uh, one you can't do business with is not mature enough, but there are certain friendships where you know they can outlive this. Let's say it fails, we'll be mm. fine. Mm. You know, or we can have the business, um, what is this? Um, we can have the business argument, but it wouldn't affect our <laughs> friendship, mm. you know? I think it depends. Oh, I don't know. Um, I know it's not the same, but I've, I've worked in places where I've made friendships and they've lasted long after I've mm. left the places I've worked. So I know you can develop friendships in a like more Business-y work structured yeah. place. Mm. But if taking it, for example, the, the part that gives me pause is if, you had to say, as well, let's start a business together. Let's do this and this together. I feel like money 
mm. can break a lot of things if That's you if you don't equally that, yeah. contribute towards it but also maybe if you don't have those hard conversations mm. and i'm not even saying out loud i mean within yourself mm. if i had to say to myself okay if i go on this business venture with ursula and it bombs out and it starts to affect our friendship is that a friendship i'm okay losing you know mm. or am i okay her saying to me i don't want to be there anymore can i I know I'm not pushing mm. for fighting but can I have hard conversations with Ursula? Can I say to her I don't like that or I don't agree? Can mm. we disagree, mm. fight in a healthy way? Mm. Because you know as someone who's avoidant of confrontation, that's a big conversation I'd have to have True. with myself. This is ooh, you mm. know. So now even now, I mean honestly there's a friend that we were thinking should we do this, should we do that? And it gives me pause not from a business perspective, but I don't want to lose that friendship. I think it's sometimes too tricky to approach. Sure. Mm. And, and you know when you say a friend that's scared of confrontation. Mm. Growing up, I was very I'm I still am and that's how a lot of my friendships just fizzled out. Mm. Are you scared of confrontation? I used to be. Okay, cuz I would I would never say Yeah, yeah, no. I'm I was like, like you. No, <laughs> I used to be, without a doubt. And I think growing up and realizing the friendships that I lost mm. because of that mm. made me be the person who wants to confront things now, mm. you yes. know? So growing up and I mean I'm very forgiving to myself because I was young. Yes. But I would just stop communicating with you. You know, I would be mm. the friend that would ghost, ghost you. Yeah. Mm. And I, I didn't do it because I was ghosting, but I, 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 I did it because, yes, yes. Just I couldn't, I couldn't communicate. Awkward, yeah. And, and now that I see all of these people, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I lost some, mm. such amazing people. Mm. Um, but I understand that it, it, it was a journey for myself. And now I'm a different person because of that. Mm. So I can relate so much to being the friend that ghosts you, mm. but ghosts you because they don't, they can't confront certain things. Mm. So mm. even some of our toxic behaviors, cause it is toxic to just mm. leave someone mm. and disappear. Mm. Right. So even some of our toxic behaviors are rooted in something mm. that we personally go yeah. through, mm. you know? Mm. So I'm just thinking about that as she's speaking about confrontation. I'm like, I lost, like I would just keep quiet. Mm. And the friendship fizzles out mm. and it ends there and it's been mm. years of mm. not talking to those people. You sure. Know? Yeah, yeah. Having having an ability to confront and then also learning, like you spoke of also learning, learning the type of, you know, dynamic of who to confront, how to confront that specific friend yes. in this specific Because yes. I've got a thing, right? Because I'm also not very confrontational. But when I've had enough, right? Oh, zero to one hundred. You no 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 not necessarily zero to one hundred, but I'll write you a text. From 2009. <laughs> in 2009, on the 6th of October, I, I really had that very bad habit where I would like document how this feeling has been growing because you've repeated it. And, and in all those instances, I never said anything. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just laying it all out at one time. And I remember Nunku, my friend, Nunku said to me, no. When this, we're not doing 2004. this. 2004. <laughs> I'm not saying that came with you. I cannot. I, I can't. Yes. You need to say it now. Yes. Or, you know, I can't keep up with the, you know, I could have fixed it in 2004. Yeah. Now you're carrying all this stuff Now you're carrying you. all And now I must now answer I must it now. Account, in yes. 2022, I must, you know, and, and, and then I learned that with, with Nonku, I really have to muster. Mm -hmm. As quickly and as soon as possible, I need to muster and say, I didn't like that. Yes. You know, or I need to write it off. Yes. And that's the boundary she's put in place. To say, it's either you're going to write it, but mm. you can't be calling me out for things that 2004. I can't play that game yeah. with you, right? You need to gather the courage somewhere to say, I don't yeah. like this and I don't like it now. <laughs> you did it yesterday or you're doing it now and I don't like it so that we can deal with it and move on. Which is a difficult thing for me, but I've learned that I've needed to learn yes. how to do it. If this relationship is going to yes. work, you know, and, and accept that boundary that she's put in place for this friendship. Last question, guys. Money. And friends, not business and friends, borrowing friends' money. <laughs> I don't money. play that game. <laughs> borrowing friends' money. No, I don't play that what game. What do we do? I don't play that game. Unless, like, you have to be in a very desperate position. Mm -hmm. And it has to be once off for me. Not once off, once off. But, mm -hmm. like, there must be, like, a bit of years. And, mm -hmm. like, this person never comes to me for money. Mm -hmm. This must be a really, like, mm -hmm. tough place. But I'm, even when someone says to me, hey, I need to talk. Uh, I want to feel it as long as it doesn't have to do with money. <laughs> They're like, yeah. never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so with yeah we can you talk. Boundary but as long as, but then I have people mm. who I will give money 
without mm. you know mm. and one of the tricks my mother learned it from your mother mm, mm. she said me and bonga cousins if you guys don't know <laughs> <laughs> mm. she said your mother told her Hore, you need 300 mm. i can give you 100 rand give you because i don't mm. want to break yes whatever mm. we have i can give you and then you go look for the 200 elsewhere mm. that's what i can help mm. with so it, for me it's mm. very deep like the people that i've given or, or borrowed money it's far in between cases mm. like this person doesn't ask me for anything and mm. they're in a desperate situation mm. and i've been the big and 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 i i know the mm. situation mm. because you also get instances where someone borrows money and then the state has i'm not hating or anything oh, God, yes. but they're out and about yes. but she, you know you so, owe me money mm, mm. so i've just found that that bitterness is so <laughs> nice you know i've just found that to put the boundary out i don't borrow money unless mm. i will decide i will decide mm. but for me it's really a general rule that i don't sure Yo, I, I, I hear that one. I, I think that's also definitely something I learned from my mom as well. The one of, you're asking for 300, here's 100 bucks. I don't want it back mm. because, uh, no, I don't borrow money. I give what I can and I part with it mm. because if I'm expecting it back, it's going to ruin our friendships, <clears throat> yes. you know, or relationship, family dynamics. Um, and, and I've always said, if you need to ask me for money, it means we're not close enough because I often give people money that are close to me that I know need it. Mm. so <laughs> that's the rule of thumb that's an interesting rule. yeah <laughs> that that's been my person like and it's something that i say often that if you need to ask me it means we're not that tight because mm. if my friend is struggling i will offer because you'll know because yeah, i'll know okay. right it means that we're not that close yeah. so uh, don't do it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah 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 no definitely i think the the part of friendships and money and um mm -mm. No, not borrowing. Mm -mm. I part with what I can give you, mm. and then let's call it quits at that. Mm. You know, if if I can give you the full three hundred, then I've given you the full mm. three hundred. Um, uh, but I I never wanted to be. I'm waiting. Let's say it was my rent money. Ursula, I know that your sure. rent is only due on the seventh. I'll give it back to you on the sixth. Mm. I can never do that. And you know, we no. don't want to think of people negatively. But mm. I have a friend who has a friend who wait for their bonus month. Like okay. what, Zeba? This is their bonus month. Like you can't say no, and it's a cycle. No way. You know, like I know you have money. This is your bonus. No way. So you can't say no. Why are you, you budgeting no? a bonus? Exactly. Yaka? No. <laughs> you imagine budgeting exactly. with someone's bonus. Absolutely exactly. not. Exactly. But I've seen friendships that they really do the borrowing money thing, and they 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 see it as a milestone in friendship. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, oh, when I when I'm down and out, Mang Mang's got my back. I'm always like, I hope you're not, you know, hukobisa hukobisa kinkasho. Yeah, <laughs> throwing shade. Throw, yeah, yeah. I hope you're not throwing shade at me because that can't be the marker of our friendship. Yes. Yeah. I, I, can't I don't want to be an if it works for them. Mm. To you. Yeah. If it works for them, that's perfectly right? fine. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does because, yeah, I've, I've heard many times it's been marked as this benchmark. This person had my back when I needed at 100K. But yeah. that thing really strains friendships, hey? Mm, it does. Someone takes yeah. 30K from someone. Mm. Um, they struggle to get it back and now mm. I can't be like how can mm. I be around you and have drinks mm. with you it has I feel like it has a corrosive effect on mm. on the friendship it, it eats away slowly either someone feels guilty for not being able to pay it back in time or someone is mm. like watching the other person whatever it may be I've also always thought to never involve money in a friendship mm. um, unless it's like you we were both saying that there's a need, you know, mm. if something happens and you're like, as I'm really like in a bit of a sticky point, if we are friends, friends, I will give without question. Mm. I don't even really need to mm. know the detail because mm. I know, you know that, that you you, know. I know that I I've got to, you and yeah. I know that you've got me mm. as well. So when it comes back in, you're mm. going to give it back. Mm. But I also hope that I give off that energy that understands that makes the other person understand that I, I need to like pay this back and I need to be able to communicate mm -hmm. that because I, I mean, I, I give sometimes more than I actually have at that moment. But if you're in a sticky bind, like then that's, I just want to be able to take care of you. Mm -hmm. But adult as was learning that you need to give what you're able to, mm. you know? So that whole rule you just mm. said now, if you need 300, I can give you 100 because that's what I can write off. Mm. I'm trying to learn that because I will give you 500 if you need 300. <laughs> I will give you 500. Friend, you don't see. I'm just... <laughs> Only now. Oh. <laughs> you don't tell me this, huh? I will if I can, but I often, I often like, shouldn't be in that place because mm. I give... 
I give like sacrificially mm. and and at your cost, at your cost. Yes, and mm-hmm. I'm trying to learn that mm. as well, baby girl. <laughs> like I could need you don't need to be mm, there that, and now yeah. you're here end mm. of the month or whatever is mm, looking for sure. some assistance or living smaller for yourself mm. because you gave it's, what you and what I have. like about the rule, yeah. I can, this is how much I can give you and so forth. Because you did it at an amount that won't hurt you. Yes. Sometimes you forget. Yes. yes. You even forget that yes. I gave this person yes. this amount. Yes. And yes. like big amounts where you're like waiting. Mm. It did a dent. <laughs> you know? Yes. It did a dent. And I, yeah, money and friendships. And I learned it very early on. Mm. And I'm mm. glad I'm strict on it now mm. in my life. Mm. This you know? is true. This is true. And, uh, you know, getting back to like giving 500, 70, 300. I think for me, the lesson that I learned when I was younger, and I know this is now about money and borrowing money um but i need to tell the story I, I think i suffered a lot from like a sort of hero complex uh when i was younger and so i would find myself always wanting to help because i always wanted to be remembered sure and i can easily say the last yes. person to do it to me maybe because people would extort you people would say <laughs> absolutely oh, you're a that never runs you dry. Superman? okay <laughs> it was a girl on instagram i've forgotten her name actually you know, I get DMs. Boom, boom, boom. You, you inspire me. Uh, sis, <laughs> ush, this. Sis, ush, this. Sis, ush, this. Then one day, boom. Sis, ush, I'm stuck. Hey, 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 please send me money. Did I not send it? Because she was busy, you know, making me feel like... No. <laughs> See, but that's... <laughs> then I that's realized a... I've been extorted yeah. because of my own hero <clears throat> little complex yes. that I needed to deal with. I'm curious to ask about... So it's still with money, but let's say you want to go for dinner... Mm-hmm. I don't. I can't even think of a nice restaurant, like really, really nice restaurant. And I. Friend, the way we don't go to nice restaurants, I also can't think of. This is a hypothetical, okay. Yes. <laughs> and I maybe don't have my like. What do you do when you don't have the the income to kind of live the life that your friends do? Because maybe you're saying, mm. let's go on this trip, let's go on that trip, mm. let's get nails done, let's go mm. for massage, let's go to restaurants. Mm. And you're like, babe, I can't mm. make it through or I can't live that same life, but I want to spend time with you. Mm. But I also don't want to feel like hmm. less than now in saying mm. financially. Maybe I'm not okay with where I am, but I've yeah. it, it works for me for now. You and know? even mm. if, let's say now, the, uh, another layer to that is that you do have the money, that's just not a priority for you. And yes. it should be okay to say, it's not a priority. I know that's definitely for me. I'm, hey, you see, this is going to sound bad, but I don't like fine dining. Mm-hmm. I really don't. And I've got friends that absolutely love fine dining. Like that's it, what brings them pleasure. Yeah, it and it took me a long time because certain friends wouldn't understand. No man, she just got a big gig with whatever voice. Mm. Hey, hey. I still don't want to eat 3,000 yes. rand. I don't want to eat it. Yes. I, I want to mm. give myself a headbag. Exactly. I want to do something else with that money, you know. And so sometimes, yeah, the, the money dynamic, I hear what you, the question that you're asking, mm. what do you do then? But I think like you're saying, you've already communicated to say, it's communication, what you're saying. Mm-hmm. No, friend, actually, I don't want to spend money and on And you know ABCD. what, as we're speaking about, is something that also ended some of my relationships, mm-hmm. friendships. Because I was in a place where I dropped out of school then I went back to school. So my friends have graduated. Mm. They're getting their cars. And some of it, it has to do with my own complex mm. at that particular time. Mm. I have to admit. But I saw her we're at different places. Should mm. I be able to go out with them, let's say for dinner or whatever, I won't even look the same. Yes. You know? Sure. Because Yo. I don't have the same affordability. And Yo. it's not like, I'm, I'm a middle class girl. My parents take care of me. Yes. But there are certain things you can afford when you start earning money. Yes. yes. Than, than when you yes. on an allowance. Yes. You know? So some of my friends don't know I left them because of that. Like mm. your lifestyle is just too much for me. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm the girl who'd rather sit at home or visit sure. me at home or my dot because sure. I'm not at that point in my life, mm. you know? And I mean, there are gaps. There are gaps where like, you know, there's been many times as was paid for dinner or lunch or whatever. Mm. Like, and Ursula's you know, done the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, there, there are those, you know, but what happens now when it's vastly different all yes. the time? Yes. I'm becoming Oprah and <laughs> darling, you no, know? Oprah pays for everything. Yeah. Okay. I, <laughs> she has to. You get it. You for everything. But what I'm getting at is when one friend becomes exponentially rich, is it fair then to say they should always pay for everything? Mm-mm. No. You know, that's Definitely not fair. Not. Let's find the middle place. Not. You know? Yeah. Because you also want to experience friendships that are not centered around money. Definitely. In the same breath that we're saying that it does add a layer where, like, I can't keep up with this lifestyle. Yeah. 
um and i can't hold you guys back when you guys want to go fine yes. i and i'm so glad i pay my fine dining friends it's my young lily too because that's not my thing you know mm. uh, but in the same breath you must sometimes compromise that this is what this person likes doing yes. and and meet them at that place and be like okay it's your birthday i'll come yes. you know and make those certain compromises and, and and stuff like that but it it can be very difficult when now the lifestyles become vastly Fast. different and that's why for me it's always been very important to be able to visit my friend at their home yeah and to have a cup of tea mm. in their mm. house and in their home because it shouldn't be centered around looking going nice out. going yes. out uh, handbags and and some <laughs> Sometimes when you always meet at a restaurant, when you always meet at an event, that's what the friendship can look like and start to become. Yeah. You know, and sometimes so it's important to say, friend, get la how mm. for a cup of tea because I want to get mm. to know you. Because at the end of the day, as much as money adds layers and, but it, it's not the center. I go, oh, you guys like to fetch me sometimes. Maybe somebody else will say, no, for you, it's not the center. Yeah. But the truth is we need to live lives. Or I need to. Yeah. Yeah. Let me rephrase. I need to live a life. That can't be centered. My friendship can't. My friendship needs to be. I, I nap at Aspo's house. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? I go to Nonku's place and like, luckily the husband is a chef. Go Nash. <laughs> and like, he'll cook us up something while we're like chatting. But it's spending and time together. It's spending time together. And I'm in the comfort of my friend's home and it's got nothing to do with what I'm wearing. I'll be wearing a pair of uh, gym tights mm-hmm. and a free t-shirt. Mm. And that for me is also very important. What does it look like when... When there's no money involved, which yes. is me and you, mm. you know, yeah. Or even if it's not money, even whatever that thing is, because maybe some people do enjoy, oh, Ursula is a friend, I can go and have dinners with all of, mm. <clears throat> sorry, all of these places, go to all of these places. And maybe that's what you enjoy in your friendship. Mm. But I think it's about, if there's any, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> anything that feels like an impurity there, sure. or like something that keeps mm. you misaligned. Yes. That if that makes you uncomfortable, that I, I feel like that needs to be addressed. For mm, me, yeah. I would say it's a money thing or mm. I'm not really bothered about appearances, what brand this is, label mm. that is. Mm. Like whether it's from Jam or Gucci, like I really am not bothered. If mm. I like it, I like it. But I know that there are some people that are so specific in how you present yourself. Mm. Where you just, that stuff doesn't bother me. Mm. But if we go to dinner... Maybe I am conscious of the fact that, oh, you know, I just want to be able to kind of like fit in in that moment. Mm. But if it starts to eat at me, I don't want it. Mm. I don't want it. Ooh. I don't yeah, want it. Yeah, because there, there is a level where like it, it's just eating at you now. Yes. You know, and you're concerned with, oh, guys, growing up is so difficult. It, it is. is. Friendshiping is difficult. Relationships are difficult. I said I'm not going to use difficult anymore in the other episode. You won't use? Difficult. What did I say I was going to use? challenging but then we said challenging is also bad yeah. <coughs> i don't know what to use but life is oh the hurdles, hurdles. along the way yes thank the you like what will manifest the difficulty into my life you know <laughs> so hurdles along the way and I, I think it's just that you know constantly having the, uh, the conversation constantly communicating and i think any successful family relationship friendship relationship um, romantic relationship, work relationship boils down to how good you are at mm-hmm. relaying a message mm-hmm. in such a way that somebody can hear you and understand you and see you, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that was the episode for today. It is the conversation capital. If you haven't liked, shared, and subscribed, why not? Have us snacks, man. Do the right <laughs> things. Love you guys so much. Don't forget, we're also on TikTok. We're also on Instagram. We're also on Facebook and uh, all the other platforms. We love you guys so much. Goodbye and God bless.